Welcome back to Spoiler Free Wrestling, everyone. And this week on WWE programming, Bray Wyatt debuted his new darker persona. Wyatt revealed he is still harboring much darkness inside his head, but he has now learned how to best harness and control his dark side. Part of Wyatt's new dark persona is a new mask made by Tom Savini's team. Tattoo artist Kyle A. Scarborough was involved in the creation of the mask and posted the backstory of how he got involved with Wyatt on Facebook. Here's what he posted. From concept to reality, this is still surreal. I'll never forget the night Bray texted me, beyond excited with this idea he has and needed my help. Needed my help. Still weird. He called me, and with the excitement of a child, he ran off this long list of descriptions and concepts, flooding my text messages with doodles and images. He had an idea in mind that needed help. He had the team of people to create the idea, but didn't have the vision. I've never been more scared to take 20 ideas and details and try to create a drawing that showcased his thoughts, which, putting it mildly, are about as close to insane as the character. When I was done, his response blew me away. I was told I saved his career. Now that's absurd, but he was in a rut and the WWE weren't giving him the green light based on descriptions alone. My drawings were literally on the desk of Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon saw my renderings to help give him a visual guide for Bray's idea and it was green lit. Still crazy to think about. From there, I was kept updated with the sculpting work of Jason Baker, FX designer for Tom Savini, whose work includes many WWE performers, and especially Corey Taylor of Slipknot. All these vignettes on WWE Raw built up to this, and were still not done. I had no idea what was going to debut and win, mind you. So last night, I'm at the Tool concert, and almost literally in the moment I find out the Blues are close to winning the game, I had a text from Bray that simply read, Congrats, brother. We changed wrestling forever. I began to see messages from friends and other fans who shared the image of the televised segment. I told him I was beaming and that I was so happy for him to see something he loves so much come to life. He responded, We made this happen. I'll be honest, I had tears. In the middle of a loud-ass rock concert, Tool of all bands, Thanking God for the gifts he's given me because Lord knows I don't deserve them, but I don't take any of it for granted. This may all be meaningless to many, perhaps cool to some, but I'll leave it with this. One of my dreams was to go to school at Tom Savini's Makeup FX studio and design movie monsters. Financially, we couldn't make it happen. Of course, I was a lifelong pro wrestling fan and Bray Wyatt was legitimately one of the only faces in wrestling that excited me to tune in. Now, thanks to my tattoo work catching his attention, I've designed the look of the man's on-air character with the help of artists who work for Savini. I still can't process all of this fully. Anyway, I was contractually obligated to keep my trap shut till it debuted, so that's my long-winded story. Kind of a cool backstory from the tattoo artist who was involved in designing Bray Wyatt's new mask. Bray Wyatt... Uh, also responded to a fan on Twitter recently who had stated that Wyatt's new gimmick means WWE should explore adding alternate reality game aspects to their stories. Wyatt responded with the following. That's why I'm here, silly. Wyatt has also suggested that former Wyatt family members could still be involved in his new gimmick. Previously, he suggested he is working on getting Luke Harper on the Firefly Funhouse, but Wyatt recently made some comments about Braun Strowman online as well. Wyatt responded to a fan on Twitter who suggested that WWE does a poor job of naming teams. And so this fan said, what's next? Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman teaming up and being called Big Men with Beards? And Wyatt responded that that team, the one of Wyatt and Strowman, already has a name. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any news or reports from Spoiler Free Wrestling.